And when a disaster strikes, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter your race, your gender, your ethnicity, your age, uh, how much money you have or don't have, or w- whether or not you live in the, the uppity neighborhood or, or, or in, the, in the lower class neighborhood or even on the streets. Disasters know no boundaries. They're the great equalizer. And if you look at it from that perspective, you will find that the things that we can do today to make a difference are, are, are sometimes relatively minor. And like I told you, it starts with a conversation. And, and that's exactly what we're going to have today. So oftentimes I like to start my conversation about, just use this as an example, a home fire escape plan. And, and many of you are at home right now. And, and I, I would pose the question to you that uh, if you uh, were there with your spouse or significant other, or even your grandkids or your, your children, uh, and there was a, a the smoke detector went off, where would you go? Where would you meet each other? You know, it's, it's interesting. I, I posed that question and, and some of you answered it on the, on the survey, but, but really, I'll get more specific. Where would you go meet your, your family outside? Because obviously we're not going to stay in the house because the goal is to get out of the house. And if you are thinking about that, I want you to think about this as I say that, right? So you are on an airplane traveling across the country. Right? And on that plane, you have uh, multiple exits, right? So I want you to complete this with me in your mind, or you can even say it out loud. So if I'm standing in front of you on the airplane and I say, there are two exits, what? To the front of the plane, right? Two exits over the wings and two exits to the rear, right? In addition uh, to a loss of cabin pressure, what will what oxygen mask will what? Drop from the ceiling. Right, you are to put your oxygen mask on who first? You first before you put it on somebody uh, on your child, right? And then, if we have an aircraft emergency over water, your seat cushion can be used as a personal flotation device. Now, I can see a lot of you shaking your head and mouthing the words that I've said, but when I ask you the question, Where's your safe meeting place at home? I want you to think about that. Many of you were able to just answer my question about what happens in an aircraft emergency, which is far less likely to happen to you than a fire in your home. But why do we know what to do in an aircraft emergency, and yet we really aren't sure exactly what to do at that fire in our house? Because it's talked about every single time you get on a plane. 